Hi everyone, it's Alessandro Lacroce for CelluareMagazine.it. We are here with the new HTC Desire HD. This is a flagship device from the manufacturer. First of all, some uh, uh, specs. You've got this uh, big screen, 4.3 inch, with a resolution of uh, 800 by 480 pixel. Four soft key, uh, soft key. On the left side this is the volume buttons, on the upper part you have the power and also lock and unlock button. Nothing on the right side and in the bottom you have the connector for uh, the 3.5 mm jack and the micro USB. On the back there is the 8 megapixel camera with the uh, autofocus and uh, dual LID flash and also the speaker. You can see from here that there is no back cover. The manufacturer chose to divide, to split the cover in two parts. You have this part, which has the SIM and the micro SD slot. And on the right side, you have another slot with a battery, which is a 1230 million per per hour battery. So for comparison, we've got here a Nexus One, which is also from HTC. The Desire the HD is uh, wider and also um, same thickness. Maybe um, the camera it's uh, a little a little bit uh, overexposed here. Nothing to worry about. The HTC Desire HD has also uh, a bigger screen, so it's normal to have a bigger dimension. Let's boot it up. So that's it. It takes only a few seconds to load, thanks to a new technology developed for, uh, by the manufacturer, which is called the Fast Boot, and it uh, grants you to access the operative system in under five seconds. So it's pretty convenient if you have to do a quick call or just uh, look at an email. Now on this device there is the new version of uh, HTC Sense above uh, Android 2.2. They added a few more widgets like uh, this one and uh, it also is uh, more uh, customizable so you can uh, uh, choose your own skin but we'll see it later. So, uh, the first thing I want to show you is the notification bar. You have uh, the uh, sort of a task manager. These are all the applications that are running uh, in the background, so you can jump from one to another just by tapping on it. It's pretty fast and uh, it may make you take advantage, advantage of uh, the multitasking capability. So you can jump from an application to other in just a one tap. It's pretty convenient. Um, let's take a look at all the application. You have a, a new method to search the contacts. You can also block them if there is some number you wanted to blacklist. The hotspot Wi-Fi and these two applications, they are new. And one is called HTC Hub. In this application, you'll find all the widget, the skin, and uh, also the sounds that with which you can uh, customize your own phone and make it special like your own cell phone, like no other. So for example, you got these uh, skins, which you can download from the internet. It may take a while. And you can download them and uh, uh, choo uh, choose to uh, apply on the phone. So the whole interfa interface will uh, adapt to the new uh, skin and uh, all the icons and all the colors will just adapt to it. So let's take a look. It's uh, downloading. Okay, actually it takes a while so we can try to choose uh, another one which is uh, on the phone. So we're gonna apply this skin and you can see that the notification bar changed colors, the background the image is different and also the dock bar. So using this uh, uh, feature you can really make your phone special. 
The other application is HAC like. Here you find all the, the applications that are on Android market. The difference here is that they are reviewed by HTC and all the Sense user. So you can find all the comments and the likes. For example, uh, you have uh, Angry Bird, which is uh, a game from Android. And uh, you can find the HTC review and also uh, some comments now you can see anything because it's uh, geolocalized and probably no Italian guy has just commented it yet you have the favorites all your friends comments the downloaded app and uh, also the application that you just choose from uh, this uh, sort of market it it is really nice since uh, uh, the Android market is uh, becoming every day more uh, crowded with application. This is a really good way to just find the right application. We have also an ebook reader which uh, uses a Kobo store for the books. You can load all the uh, books you want, it remembers the page where you were. And you can also pinch to zoom the text just adapt to the screen there is a accelerometer too the great thing about this is that if you are a foreign user like me i speak italian you can select a word and just search it on the web for um, to see what what it means so it's pretty convenient if you if you like to be updated on uh, all the words that you don't know the meaning let's go on you have uh, this uh, location service which is called location which offer you another navigation system you can integrate it with the google maps or not it, you can uh, uh, see what stores which stores are around you. For example, now we are in Milan. And if we zoom in, we can find all the store on, and uh, all the pubs nearby. The great thing is that you can drive too. So for example, we set the Duomo Plaza and we can uh, get direction to go there. So it may take a while, but this is done by internet connection but it can be stored on the memory of the cell phone itself so you don't need connection while driving now we don't have a gps fix because we are inside a building this is the car panel so we, we you can uh, access to the main function of the phone by here you can uh, call or just uh, drive, uh, use footprint service, and all uh, the stuff you might have might want to do while driving. So it's pretty safe to use. On media, you find you can share all your music, your picture, and video in your Wi-Fi network. Now we are not connected to any Wi-Fi, so we probably can't be able to find any music, as you can see. the car dock it's the same panel of before let's see what else you have a quick office to access all the word and excel file for business and also the fm radio they integrated this uh, soundhound application it's similar to shazam and uh, let you uh, find the artist and uh, the title of a song that you are hearing so it's an alternative let's try the camera it is an 8 megapixel as we said before so we put our nexus here you can uh, focus just tapping on the screen and then it takes just a few seconds to snap the picture you have the zoom in and zoom out here which is a digital zoom and also a few uh, options like uh, uh, white balance, ISO and 
and so on. The pictures are really good and it's the first uh, HTC Android phone with 8 megapixel camera so it's pretty nice to have it. Let's try to see the gallery to see the picture we just took. You can find it here and you can also pinch to zoom like you would, you'd expect it. Moving through the old pictures and the movies it's really fast thanks to the Snapdragon processor which is a uh, 1 GHz. It's different from the one used on the, the Nexus since it has a video card, a graphic card so all the games and uh, graphic intensive application can uh, use uh, this chipset. And let's try the browser, which is a really fast. We can go to, it has a flash, since uh, this version of Android is uh, the 2.2. This is our blog for Android. Let's try to load it. So it's pretty fast, it has uh, HE, and HSDPA connection with 14.4 uh, uh, megabit per second in download and 5.76 megabit per second in upload. You have a pinch to zoom. Everything is uh, really quick. You can move uh, fast on the page and scroll from the bottom to just without hesitation of the phone. Again, this is a uh, uh, made by the Android uh, browser and uh, the Snapdragon processor. You can also double tap to zoom. I want to show you the keyboard. This is the QWERTY keyboard, the landscape mode, and you find these uh, four arrow keys which help you to move through the text. Since it, do it doesn't have a, a trackball, you will find them useful. So you can see, you can move uh, on the text and uh, this is the portrait version of the keyboard and you can find the keys on the bottom part so again you can move and edit your text without having trouble to find in which spot you're tapping so this is a great phone it's sold for uh, 599 euro here in Italy and it's uh, one of the uh, Main, main featured phone. It has a, a fast processor, a great camera, and also a really, really gr big screen. Also, HTC Sense is a great interface to deal with. And uh, the only complaint is about these, uh, these two slots for the battery and the SIM card, but it's not that bad. I mean, you can. Uh, uh, forget about them since you have uh, this uh, great screen and uh, great processor. For now it's uh, all. Thanks for watching by Alessandro Lacroce and CelluloreMagazine.it